Okay, we've already done an instructional video on uh, how to play play my box calls, and now this is the one for, uh, we're going to add to it on how to play the paddle calls, or some people call them boat paddle calls. You can see it's a longer call. It's uh, they're about 12 and a half inches from from here to the end of the handle. Um, they're a lighter call. They're, they they can they're better call to use in cutting the wind on windy days. Um, they're they're Good call for cutting, getting birds to shot gobble and reveal, reveal their location. Um, you can do about any call on the paddle call that you can do on the box call with practice. It's a little take a little more practice. The one, besides being a longer call, one of the biggest differences also is that the paddle call does not have a spring under the lid. You know, pretty much when you're using the call, you have to let it. You have to learn how to hold the call and how to work the handle, let the handle kind of do its own thing and actually has to roll over the arc. Uh, by, by, by offsetting the lid about halfway, all I'm doing is holding it pretty much the same way I do, do the box call handle. I hold it between my uh, index finger and my thumb. And I'm working it pretty much like just like I did on the box call, all wrist. And the way Neil taught me to call on a boat paddle call or a paddle call is he he would he taught me to hold. If you're calling on the left side, I'm doing this left-handed. Uh, I'll do it right-handed here in a minute. But the, he taught me to hold the, the left corner of the paddle call, the lid. If you're holding it on the left side, and then you just take and hold it lightly and offset it. And then you just let it, you actually tip the lid to the outside. And then when you call, you let it roll over the arc like this. I'm kind of letting the lid do its own thing. I'm just kind of letting it roll over the arc. Now I'm going to do it on the other side, do it right handed. Tilt the same thing, tilting the car lid to the outside. That's how, that's basically how, how Neil showed me to do it. And there's other ways of doing it also. Sometimes I just hold the lid flat. I don't tilt it to the outside or the inside. And I just do the do the yip the same way, offsetting it about halfway. And you can see it just it's just not rolling over as much when you do it that way. But it still sounds good that way. And if you want to make it sound raspier, you actually can't, can't the lid inward and you know, toward the inset and down in toward the sound chamber. You might want to get it raspier. You can hear it's got a little raspier sound to it now. you can actually do the plain yelp on the power call. Um, what we're going to show now, now is um, I'm going to show the cluck. And it's pretty much the same way I did on the box call. You just take the lid, press down on it. I'm going to do it left-handed because I do it better that way since I'm left-handed. But it's basically the same thing with the right-hander. You just press down and Pressing down and popping up on it. Okay, that's that's the way I do the cluck. You can also do it this way, also, but like you do with like I show with a box call, you can take and put your thumb up on the side of the call and like this, 
when you put the lid up against your thumb, just take and, and pop the lid. And the same thing on the other side. Put your thumb up there. Cutting, put your thumb up on the side again, like you do on the box call. Open the lid up and hit in. On the right hand side, the same deal. Put your thumb up on your left hand up there, offset the lid, and hit down and inward. Now, if you want to do the um, the uh, the key key, you actually offset. This would be more of a fall call. You would actually offset to set the lid further. Instead of halfway, you maybe go about three quarters. This is something you experiment until you get the feel of that. But you. keys also but I do it like this I hold doing it with my left hand I hold the handle end of the paddle call you hold it upside down I put my hand up on the end my index finger on the end of the paddle it would be the same thing with right hand you would take put it up there Set the lid about halfway and just and just really free up your wrist. You're gonna really shake your wrist really loose. And you can also do it this way. You can actually start up here and come down the lid like this. That's two different ways of doing the gobble on the pilot car. Okay, now what we got here is another uh, another type of wood on the, another paddle call. This is a mahogany paddle call with, with aromatic cedar lid. The other one that I was playing earlier is a butternut paddle call with aromatic cedar lid. I use cedar lids on all my paddle calls. Uh, Neil always taught me that cedar had the right, um, it was light enough and you didn't want the lid to be too heavy because we get the sides pretty thin on the paddle call so you don't want a heavy lid on it. Um, some guys make calls with, with thicker size and they use a heavier lid which works fine for them. But for these, for my calls, it's better to use a cedar lid. And also a cedar 
lid has the right amount of give to it when you press down on the handle. I get the lid down to a certain thickness where I can, where I can, it's got a certain amount of give to it. it makes a big difference in the sound. That's it, that's really important on a power call is getting the lid the right thickness and getting the right amount of give to it and getting a good tight grain cedar. Uh, I like that darker red cedar also on my power calls. Now this is this call here is made out of Honduras mahogany, which also makes a good paddle call. I also like yellow poplar with a aromatic cedar lid for a paddle call. Uh, sometimes chestnut makes a good paddle call, and uh, walnut with cedar lid makes a good paddle call sometimes also. It's a little harder to tune, but it makes a good call when you get one right. But uh, I'm going to show the difference in the sound of the mahogany call versus the uh, the butternut paddle call. I'm going to do the plain yep. Again, there's the same, there's the three different ways of holding the handle. You can can it to the outside. Also with mahogany paddle call, just and a, and a popper. Any of the paddle calls would be a good piece. 